So you can see that gives me quite a little range of motion here now. Um, even better than if you've seen my other video with the lever system. Um, that works okay, and I may still use that, but uh, just trying to come up with a little bit uh, simpler way and a little more compact way, I came up with this simple slide mechanism. So it'll still use the same principle. It'll This will still be uh, a box inside of a box, so we'll just pretend that this table is one plane and then there'd be obviously a it would be a, a box is what this would set in so this would still slide back and forth inside of a box and then it would simply slide back and forth on a little piece that would run in the middle on a couple of pivots and then it's not going to have to be so deadly accurate because it's going to lay flat against the side of the box so then i just have to spring load this mechanism so that it was spring loaded to go up and down and this gives me a real big range of motion as you can see if I put my tape measure here uh, it gives me a huge range of motion um, I should be able to cover you know like a 6 by 14 or something so uh, so that's what I want to ask in this video you guys in the comment section below let me know how big a spot you'd like to be able to see if you you see my floating router being able to do the mortise and tenons how big a piece do you guys want to be able to do the routering on and uh and that'll tell me how big i gotta make it so hopefully you guys are having fun watching hopefully you'll keep tuning in and uh we'll see if we can't get this together for you here in the next little while and kind of just got a little bit of time to spend on still got a lot of kitchen work to do so you guys keep tuning in and i thank you for watching this video